just dressing out some rods in the coppice, South Derbyshire, the National Forest, and a little bit about how I dress out. So I use a Fiskars brush hook, they call this, and uh, it's quite a nice little bill hook, quite uh, small and light. So I like it for dressing out because that's all you need, something small and light. So I'm right handed, so bill hook in my right hand, left hand which is gloved on the rod and I try and keep or make sure that the, the sharp edge, the leading edge of the billock is uh, nowhere near my hand. So the back of the uh, billock is the only thing that can catch my hand and that's why I wear a glove. I use this one ungloved because you get a better grip on the billock itself, especially if the handle was wooden. You don't want to use a glove with a wooden handled bill hook. And then it's just to keep that the angle of the billock nice and shallow too steep and what you'll do is just cut in and rip the bark off which you don't really want so nice sort of gentle shallow angle twist the rod knock off those it hasn't got to be perfect but you don't want to go too deep because as an example you go too steep and what will happen is you'll end up stripping into the bark which you don't want when you just work your way up the rod some people have got different techniques for this, but this is mine is kind of a push forward technique. Works for me. And then the last bit, which is sort of the, the tip, some of this isn't very good, a bit too thin for weaving with. I will uh, change the angle of the bill up then. So instead of it being shallow like that, steeping it off, sweep back, a nice clean cut, which leaves you an angled cut on the end like that. That's all ready for for the weaving rods. Handy trick with the, the bill hook itself because it's got a curved end on. We well, saw that on that video, but you can uh, get your bill hook. Just lift up the rods, which means that you haven't got to bend down so far, which is another handy use for for one of these. So again, a nice shallow angle. You've got a knotty bit like that on there. A bit of an extra swipe at it just to knock thicker pieces off but this this is more like uh, what they call epicormic growth because this coppice is overstood or it's been left too long between each cutting cycle you tend to get what's these little shoots if they've seen a bit of light you'll send a new shoot out the stem so in good coppice you don't tend to get much of that just keep working your way up the rod So I hope that was a bit of some use, just how I use a billhook on hazel coppice. And uh, if you've got some coppice, why not have a go?